Hi, thank you for choosing the Quail Digital Pro 9 headset system. This is a short introduction to the single lane dry through system. The system is also available with dual lane and table service capability options. Your system consists of these items. The base station located on the wall like this. The headsets and battery chargers usually located in the manager's office and the drive-through module, speaker and microphone located in the speaker posts or in the menu board on the drive-through lane. When not in use, the headsets hang in the cradle here and the batteries go in the charger. The light beside each battery is red when charging and turns green when fully charged. They take up to four hours to fully charge and there is up to 12 hours use in the headset between charges. Put the battery into the headset like this. The light on the end of the mic boom will pulse double green like this, which indicates that it's ready to use. The headset can be worn on either side of your head like this. Whichever ear you choose, the boom has a stop so that the microphone doesn't drop below the level of your mouth. The headband can be adjusted like this to suit. To adjust the volume you hear the customer and your colleagues at, you can press plus or minus here. There are 10 steps and when you reach the highest or lowest level, you'll hear a double beep. You are operating in multi-order taker mode, which means that any headset wearer can greet the customer and take their order. When the car arrives, you will hear a beep in your ear. Press 1 here to speak and the light on the boom will turn solid green. You are now in hands-free mode whilst you take the order. The light on the end of the boom will remain solid green while you're speaking with the customer. You'll notice that the bottom light on the base has turned green. This indicates that a car has arrived at the post and will remain green until the car leaves. When the order is complete and the car moves off the road loop, your headset reverts to standby mode with a green double pulse. All your colleagues hear the conversations between the order taker and the customer. If you wish to talk with other headset wearers, press the star button here. It's a paging channel and the customers don't hear these conversations. When you speak, the light on the mic boom will be white. Release when you finish speaking. On the underside of the base station, there is a row of buttons. The first here is the reset button. If you press this for 10 seconds, the front light will start to flash green after several seconds. Then a short time later will turn amber. You may now release the button and the system will reboot. The vehicle detection override button here activates when pressed and is used temporarily if the vehicle detection fails and before the tech comes to site to repair. The final button is the night volume setting. If you're in a residential area, you may need to reduce the sound at the speaker post. Once pressed, the outbound sound level is reduced by about 20%. Night volume will automatically cancel after eight hours or if you press the night volume button again. The green light adjacent to the button indicates night volume is active. This is how you register a headset to the system. It's a lot simpler than you've been used to in the past. Put a battery into the new headset. The light on the boom will be pulsing red, indicating that it isn't registered to anything yet. Hold it to the base station like this. It will now fast flash green and then move to a double pulse green to indicate that it has been registered and is ready in standby mode. Simple as that. There is no limit to the number of headsets the system can register. If you're using a headset and the light on the boom pulses red then green repeatedly, it means that the battery is low. So remove it, place it in the charger and replace with another charged battery. If you pick up a headset and the light on the boom is solid red, it means that an internal fault has developed and so you need to arrange a swap out. And remember, 
For improved hygiene, it's good practice to wipe down your headsets every few days using a domestic wipe like this. Please contact your service company on the number they provided on the user guide if you have any further questions about your system. Thank you for choosing Quail Digital. Enjoy using your system.